Imagine this. What would happen if the power generated by your solar system exceeds the actual consumption? Well, the answer is obvious. Extra power may flow to the grid if you don't have an energy storage system. But some countries' grid authorities limit the export of PV-generated power to the grid to ensure the safety and performance of the grid network. Therefore, Hoymiles has developed an export management solution to help users install a bigger PV system without violating export regulations. The Hoymiles export management system is composed of Hoymiles Gateway, DTU Pro, and Meter. The meter can be installed at the load side or grid side to measure energy consumption or power export respectively. If the export control is enabled, DTU Pro will adjust the PV power generation to ensure that the export power will not exceed the preset limit. This video will guide you through the installation of meter in the distribution box and DTU Pro from scratch so that you will get an export management system. Please refer to the technical note for further information. A quick note before we get started. Please make sure that your power distribution box is shut off and only properly trained technicians can take up the installation. To complete the installation, we will be using the Hoimels DTU Pro connecting terminal, the Chint DTSU6663 phase meter, wire stripper, diagonal pliers, Phillips screwdriver, slotted screwdriver, steel tape, cables, and technical note of export management of Hoimiles microinverter system. Now, we are ready to go. First, install the meter on the rail. To do this, you should loosen the clamp with the screwdriver and move it to the far left side to make room for the meter. To simplify installation and access comprehensive data monitoring, this video only shows the meter installation on the grid side. For other settings, you can refer to our technical note. After we install the meter, cut off the connection between the main AC breaker and the loads, that is, remove these for wires. In this video, we will use yellow for phase A, green for phase B, red for phase C and blue for the inline despite different wire color standards across the globe. Now, we come to the connection with each input port of the meter. From the picture, we know that port 1, 4, and 7 on the meter are input ports, which are respectively connected with phase A, phase B, and phase C. Port 10 connects to the end line. Then measure and cut out the wire according to the wiring route. Please note that the stripping length should be the same as the port depth. Then you can wire these cables into the meter and each load. Please ensure safety throughout the connection. Now, we have finished the connection between meter and the loads. Then it's time to connect the output of meter with the main AC breaker. We can see that port 3, 6 and 9 are outputs which are connected with phase A, B and C respectively. Port 10 connects to the end line. Please do not mix up those wires. Now, the meter and distribution box have been successfully wired. Finally, we need to connect the DTU to the meter. Here, we will use the communication cable. The blue wire is connected to terminal B and port 25, and the red wire is connected to terminal A and port 24. The connection of the cable to the meter can be done directly, while the connection of the cable to the DTU Pro should be done with the connecting terminal. Now, all the installation is completed. Let's set up the DTU Pro. Log into your account on SMILES Cloud Monitoring Platform. First, you should create your own plant and fill in the basic information. Tap Next and click Create Owner. Fill in the owner information and click Confirm. Second, add your device. You should fill in the serial number of DTU Pro and the microinverter which can be found on the enclosure. Don't forget to save your information. Then click Next and choose a layout as you will. Then fill in the PV array information and click Confirm. Upload the installation map and click Next. Now, we come to the export management settings. Switch on the slider button of Enable Export Management and you can select your grid type, choose the installation location of the meter and type in the meter set. Please also input the CT rated current if need be. Next, tick on the export power limit function to enable the export control and then input the limit value. 
Please note that here we don't need to set the limit value of each phase, because the power limit mode we previously selected is total. So click next, and you will come to the setting of plant regulation. Finally, click complete and activate the plant, and now all the work is done. When your solar system starts to operate, you can see the overall data from the dashboard of the plant. You can also generate reports to further analyze the data and adjust your settings. That's all for today's program. Thanks for joining us.